in my previous video I explained how uh, tan uh, AB so tan theta is this side so let me say this side is AB so let me explain from this so in the last video I explained tan theta in a unit circle this is a unit circle of radius 1 okay let me use a darker color so this is radius 1 this is center O so we can say OA is 1 so in my previous video I explained that tan theta is tan theta is the length of this line segment AB and that's why it's called tan because can you see this this line AB is tangent at this point it's always the length of AB when a particle suppose this particle has moved say uh, an angle of say from A it has moved to P so you can say particle P has moved angle theta so when you join that point with the center and if you extend it that line segment that you get is always tan okay so this is by definition I also use similar triangles to show why AB is tan theta okay so if that is the case uh, what is tan 0 so let me use a different color tan 0 so when you're thinking about tan 0 you're saying what is the length of AB when the particle is at A well the part when the particle is at A the angle it has moved is 0 so the length of AB is 0 okay so that's why tan 0 is 0 when it comes to this point say at 180 degrees so it has moved anti-clockwise it has come to 180 again you have to join this point with a okay and again what's the length of a b again the length of a b is zero and that's why 10 180 is zero we'll confirm this on a calculator okay now what is 10 when it comes to this point when it is 10 90 what is the length of a b so when it comes to when the particle has moved say 90 degrees this this tangent and this y-axis is going to be parallel so uh, you cannot find length a b or you can say it is infinity or in other words when 10 approaches 90 this is going to be infinity I'll also show you that on a calculator in the same way 10 to 70 is also undefined or infinity and when you come to 10 360 it is again zero okay so so let me show these on the calculator so first let's go to the run menu and always check your settings my setting by default goes to radian so let me change this into degrees so if you press 10 0 10 0 is 0 10 180 is again 0 if you go 10 360 it is 0 if you go 1090 it will be undefined maths error or it's undefined I'll explain what why 1090 is undefined it is infinity so 10270 is also infinity and that's why when you draw a 10 graph you have asymptote at 90 and 270 so what does this mean so let us see if you go 10 say 89 is 57 point this number so let's go approach 90 from 89 so if it is 10 89.9 it is 572 what is 10 89.99 sorry it is 10 89.99 oh I'm again doing the same mistake 10 89 0.99 okay so can you see as 10 is approaching 90 this number is approaching a big number so let me go 10 89.9999 
So this number is approaching infinity and that's why 1090 is undefined. Or graphically, 1090 will be as 10 approaches 90, this number is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. AB is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But when it comes exactly 90, it will be undefined. You can't find 10 of 90. Okay. So now let's think about 1060. Okay. So we're going to think about 1060, 120, 240, 300, and minus 60. So what is 1060? Now to understand 1060, so let me drop draw a right angle triangle. So this is again a unit circle of radius 1. So this is this is 60. This is uh, okay I didn't have to do that. You don't need this. So if this is 60 this is 30. This is 30 degrees. Okay so we're talking about in triangle OAB. In triangle OAB I have taken angle B O A, angle B A, sorry, B O A is equal to 60. So if this is 60 degrees, this angle is going to be 30 degrees. Again, and we know this length, this length is unit circle, so this length is 1. So let me write 1 with a dark color, so this is 1. So using 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know that in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, if the side opposite to a 30 degree is 1, the hypotenuse OB is going to be 2, which will be half. So let us write that again. So uh, angle OBA, OBA is 30 degrees. And we know that OA is 1. As OA is 1, the hypotenuse, which is OB, is going to be 2. Okay, so let's say this is X. This AB is X. So we can say, using Pythagoras, X squared is equal to 2 squared, take away 1 squared, which is 3. So X is root 3 x is root 3. If x is root 3, what can we say? ab is root 3. ab is root 3. And what have we said? ab is tan of the angle. So at this point, when the particle has moved 30 degrees, ab is x. So this implies, I can say tan 60 is root 3. So let me again say this again. It's nothing wrong in repeating. If 1060 is root 3, 10240 would also be root 3. Because when the particle has moved 240 degrees, when you join this point with the tangent, the length of AB is 10. So 10240, I'm going to show this again on the calculator, is going to be root 3. When it hits 120 degrees, Okay, so if you join this point to the tangent, you're going to get a b dash. This is what you're going to get. So if this is this is root three, a b is root three using symmetry. This is going to be minus root three, and that's why tan of one twenty, tan of one twenty degrees is going to be minus root three. Okay, and 10 of 300, 10 of 300 degrees is also going to be minus root 3. And 10 of minus 60, you say 10 300 or 10 minus 60 are one and the same, is also minus root 3. So let's check this on the calculator. So let me slightly drag it to this side, hopefully. No. Okay, that's fine. So let's delete this. So let's first find 1060. And if you uh, if you do shift root 3, this is that number, exact number. 1060 is root 3. So let me again do 1060 is root 3. 
tan 240 would be again root 3. That same number. Tan of minus uh, tan of minus, let me put this in the bracket, tan of minus 120, not, not a tan minus 120, sorry, tan of 120 is going to be negative root 3. Tan of 300 is, sorry, tan of 300, not 600. 300 is minus root 3 and tan of minus 60 is also the same number. Okay, so now you can try to prove tan 45. Okay, I have made a video on this, so let's again, let's finish up with tan 45. So, say if you draw a 45 degree angle, okay, so this will be very quick. So, tan 45, this is 1, this is also, this is B, this is O, this is A. So, if this is 1 using symmetry, uh, I, this is a isosceles right angle triangle. So if this is 1, this is also going to be 1. And uh, that's what we need. And so that's why 1045, so quickly, so let me explain. So 1045 is going to be 1. 10 of minus 45 is going to be negative 1. Or 10, uh, 360 minus 45. So what is 360? 360 take away 45 is 315. So 10 of 315 is also going to be minus 1. If you take 10, so if you take 45 here, and if you take 45 here, so this is quick, that's how. So this point, let me use a different color, this point is 180 minus 45. 180 minus 45 is how much? Is 135. So this point is 135. So this is 180 degrees plus 45. So this is 2 to 5 degrees. I hope hopefully this is right. And this is 315. So just if you know 1045, you can say 10 of 10 of 2 to 5. 225 degrees is also going to be 1. Okay, 10 of 135 is 135 is going to be negative 1, and 10 of 315 is also negative 1. So let's show, let's do this. So 1045, 1045 is 1, 10 of 225. Is also 1. 10 of 315 is negative 1 and 10 of 135 is also negative 1. So I've gone over all the angles. Uh, I've gone over z basically 0 degrees, uh, 45 degrees. I've gone over 30 degrees in a different video, uh, 60, 90 and so on. Okay, so so these are the basic angles, and from these you can find the other angles in the other quadrant.